Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to plot VTC curve of depletion load and MOS inverter. So, we will start with the new schematic and take two NMOS devices which are NMOS 4. So, I will take two NMOS 4 devices and two voltage sources as because the first voltage source V1 will act as VDD and the second voltage source will act as an input to the driver MOS device. The one MOS which is at the bottom is the driver and the one which is at the top is the load. Next we will provide the ground to all the devices like this and connect the body terminal of driver which is M2 and the load which is M1 to ground like this. okay next thing is that uh, just connect it to the ground like this now it has become clear okay so uh, this is my load device which is the depletion type hence the gate terminal of my load will be connected like this and from the same terminal I am going to take out one wire which will be my V out now to make this device working we will require the model file for my load as well as for my driver so I have already taken a model file and how to take it I have discussed in the previous video so copy it from here and go to the spice directive and paste it click on ok since there are two MOS devices I will paste it again and click on ok like this now next step is that my compiler will not distinguish whether which model file belongs to which MOS device so I will rename my load as NMOS1 by right clicking on it ok just right click here and write NMOS1 now to make this model file explicitly work for this MOS device I will rename the NMOS name with NMOS1 in the model file also so the compiler knows that this model file will work for this and this model file will work for this MOS device in depletion load NMOS inverter the load is a depletion type whose threshold voltage is less than zero so here I will make the threshold voltage less than zero by right clicking on it and instead of 0 0.8 I will take it threshold voltage as minus 2 and click on OK for my driver device which is enhancement type I will take the threshold voltage which is greater than zero so I will take it as 1 and click on OK next thing is I want to make the W by L ratio vary of my driver as well as of my load so talking about the driver I will take this is my driver so the length I will take as 1000 micro width I am taking as 10 micro and click on OK and for my load ok for my driver let us take that for my driver I am taking it as 100 and width I am taking as 10 and for my load I am taking length as 1000 micro and width I am taking as 10 micro and click on OK to make these length and widths visible right press control key from your keyboard and right click your mouse and double click here and click on OK R control and right click double click here and OK so as you can observe that for my load the length is 1000 micro and width is 10 micro and for my driver the length is 100 micro and width is 10 micro and if you calculate the KR for this device which is K driver by K load K driver by K load where K is W by L ratio you will observe that for this particular device my KR value is 10 next I will take the voltage as 5 for input and VDD also as 5 and at last I will edit the simulation command I will take the DC sweep on in the x-axis I want V2 so I will write here V2 type of sweep is linear it has to go from 0 to 5 with an increment of 0 0.01 and click on OK run it and tell the window vertically place the red pen here on this uh, wire 
so this is the vtc curve of my depletion load and mos inverter you can observe four points here first is vol vol is the voltage output voltage beyond which the output can be considered as logic zero you can observe here that here the vertical voltage is 128 millivolts means that in my depletion load and mos inverter the vol is not getting completely zero which should have been the case in of ideal inverter second is voh so i will take another cursor uh, sorry I will take another cursor here and drag it up to this point. This is my topmost point and you can observe that it is 4.99 volts. This is the VOH point. VOH is the output voltage which is considered as logic 1. Next points are VIL and VIH. Whenever the slope is minus 1, then these points are VIL and VIH. VIL is the minimum in uh, sorry vil this is the vil point it is the maximum input voltage up to which the output is considered as logic one as you can observe here and vih is this point beyond which the output is considered as logic zero so you can observe that here vil value which is denoted by cursor one horizontal value is 1.24 volts and vil sorry vih which is denoted by cursor 2 horizontal value is 1.74 volts so you can calculate the noise margin also how you can calculate the noise margin you can calculate it as VIH minus VIL okay so this will give you the noise margin so this is how you can plot the VTC characteristics of depletion type and MOS inverter if you have any queries you can post it in the comment section thank you